feedback. It's all about feedback. Feedback, it's all about feedback. Ron Fitch. Should I do it? <clears throat> Should I jump? What if it goes wrong? I'm really scared, you know. No, I'm not talking about jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge <laughs> or diving out a window. I'm talking about being up on the diving A long time ago, I spent a year on this diving board, terrified over a decision that I had to make. And then one Thursday night, I heard a voice scream at me, when you're up to your, try that again. <laughs> when you're up on the diving board, there's only one way down. You gotta step off. <laughs> wow. Now I'm really scared. Then I remembered General George Patton said, courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is being afraid and doing it anyway. So I stepped off. I spent a year on that diving board. And you know, right after he said that, he screamed that, my monkey mind showed up and said, yeah, but they put ladders on the back of those diving boards for chickens like you. <laughs> so I closed my eyes, there's the diving board, and whoa, somebody took the ladder away, now what? Fellow Toastmasters and guests, have you ever been up on the diving board? Remember how that felt? You Toastmasters, remember your icebreaker speech? <laughs> oh yeah. <clears throat> My big problem was I wanted to leave corporate America. Dilbert style, matrix fueled corporate America. And take a chance and do the journey that brought me here tonight. Obviously I made it, but that's not what this is about. I wanted to share with you what I went through. It's so easy to live in corporate America. You just do your job, they give you a raise every year, everybody's happy, kind of. But it wasn't enough. I wanted to go that next step, and I didn't know how to do it, because I had no feedback. Feedback, it's all about feedback. How do you know if it's safe to step off? What if they drain the pool on the way down? <laughs> Could happen, you know. Out of confusion, I turned to my friends for advice. I wanted advice about life. Should I be a Demopublican or a Republican? Should I be an optimist or a pessimist? The optimist says, this is the best of all possible worlds. And the pessimist says, this is the best of all possible worlds. Uh -oh. Now I'm really confused, or as Dead Mouse says, sometimes things get complicated. <laughs> yeah, really complicated. So then I turned to one of my favorite philosophers, Pink Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> you may remember the question, did you exchange a walk-on part in a war for a lead role in a cage? So I could stay in a cage, or I could take a chance and step out. But that's scary, because how do I know if I'm doing it right? Feedback, it's all about feedback. Then Mr. Floyd said, because see, I had a dream. But what if my dream is a sham? Mr. Floyd said, did you dream? We told you what to dream. You dreamed of a ball star. 
You dreamed of driving a Jaguar. You dreamed of always eating in the steak bar. You dreamed of playing a mean guitar. Did you dream? We told you what to dream. Welcome to the machine. Oh no. What if I'm in a machine? Just part of a machine. But then I remembered philosopher Alan Watts said that all the things that I'm worried about all the frets I have, because today is the tomorrow you freaked out about yesterday. <laughs> we can boil all that down into four questions. Who started it? Are we going to make it? Where are we going to put it? And who's going to clean up? And then he suggested there's a fifth question, which is, is it serious? Well, it must be serious, because everybody's frantic and they're going crazy. The other night, I went home to see my little hamster in his cage. And he's running this little wheel, having a great time. You know what the difference between that hamster and we humans going to our treadmill? The only difference is the hamster has no illusion that he's going to get anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it turned out, around that time, there were sign bumper stickers on cars that said, don't follow me, I'm lost. But then there was one bumper sticker that said, follow me, I know where I'm going. That guy inspired me. Have you ever been inspired? Susan talked about mentors. You ever had a mentor who inspired you? <clears throat> Many of my mentors inspired me, and they gave me the courage to look at that slide, that diving board, one more time, and climb up and make a discovery that the thing I was afraid of being up here gives me a whole new look at the world. I can see things that I couldn't see from down there. It's all about inspiration. From inspiration, I get feedback to know that I'm on the right track. Inspire me to inspire you to inspire me. Inspire you to inspire me to inspire you. Inspire me to inspire you to inspire the world. Inspire you to inspire me to inspire you. By the way, you know what the last thing I heard that Thursday night? It still gets me today. He lowered his voice and he said, by the way, you should know, the water's fine.